There you guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to analyze MQTT in Packet Tracer. Navigate to your bottom left and click on Network Devices, and then click on Wireless Devices. You can then click on the Home Gateway and chuck that in. I'm going to use a laptop as my broker, so clicking on End Devices, I'll click on Laptop. And then for my IoT devices, I'll use a coffee machine, a lamp, and a motion detector. These automatically connect, however the laptop doesn't, so I will power off my laptop, take out the wired module, and replace it with WPC300N to give it wireless connectivity. To configure this, I will navigate to the config, and then under Interface and Wireless Zero, I will change the SSID to Home Gateway. This then connects it to Home Gateway. To turn it into a broker, click on Desktop, scroll down to User Apps Manager, click on Available, and then install the broker. Close that, power it up, and you can see the service is on, and you have quite a few options to work with. I'll authorize Test1 as a user, Test2 as a user, and 3 as a user. These will be for my free appliances. To turn these into MQTT clients, click on Advanced, which allows you uh, the advanced options. Click IO Config and Show to see the desktop. Then click on User Apps Manager and Available, just like you did for the broker, but instead install the client. Closing this, you can open the client. And for your broker address, you can type in the IPv4 address for the laptop. To find this, open the IP configuration. And as you can see, it was automatically configured with DHCP as 192.168.25.103. So if I type that in to the broker address and then test one test, I can connect. This gives me options to subscribe to topics, publish to topics, see messages and event logs. I'll just configure and connect my other IoT devices now. Now all my MQTT clients are connected, I can go and publish and subscribe to topics. I'll subscribe to the wake up, wake up routine topic on all three. As you can see, they get added to a list. And then on IoT1, I will publish to this topic. In the publish section, you can see the topic, the payload, and the QoS. I briefly mentioned QoS in my paper and started a source, but I had never mentioned what it does. So basically, it has got three different levels. Uh, the default, in this case, is zero, and QoS zero operates kind of like UDP, which is the best effort system. Just throws out a packet and just hopes that it makes it there in one piece. QoS one has at least some form of acknowledgement. QoS two is the most robust version. It initializes a four-way handshake and makes sure with acknowledgement that yes, the packet did get there and it is intact. To publish, I will publish to the wake up routine topic with a payload of time to wake up and just use the default QoS. So you can see, because I'm subscribed to the wake up routine, I received this message. In my other clients, they also received this message. And that's because they are subscribed to the wake up routine topic. So any messages published to the wake up routine will be sent to each client subscribed to that topic. As you can see, the topic wake up routine has these three clients. I hope this quick little demonstration showed you how you can analyze MQTT in Packet Tracer. It went over briefly how you can post or publish to topics, subscribe to topics, view messages in topics, and how you can actually set up MQTT on these devices. Thank you.